Hey everyone, today's video is about Soulmate AU. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going! He was fully aware of the red thread tied into his pinky's existence. In the world, several people had a string tied around their pinky, but it only shows at certain points of life. In the world, Several people had a string tied around their pinky, but it only show at certain points of life, radiating with a scarlet glow as it would glamour to the direction of the place her soulmate would be in. To him, he had seen the red string numerous times in his childhood, to the point that almost everyone around him knew. He didn't have a quirk, but he had a soulmate. People around him would mock him for being quirkless, Yet, they owed at the fact that he had a soulmate. A person who he used fall in love with was out there, in the other end of the string. Midoriya was often flustered at the fact he himself wasn't very experienced or comfortable with girls. Nonetheless, anyone with any potential romantic connection with him, even so, he found it comforting that at the end of the string, tied to his, Someone would decide to be his lover. A person was bound by fate to stand by him for the rest of his life. He let time pass by and never really thought about chasing after the red string. He would sometimes just glance at it whenever it would appear at his sight. It had become nothing new. He would only go into stutters and stumbles in his words when trying to explain to his classmates who sometimes get to see the chromosome string. It wasn't until one day, when he was studying for the finals, his brows were furrowed as he tapped the tab of the band against the desk while scanning each and every word. The wordy and haired male let out a groan as he stretched while getting up. He was about to pick up a barbell to try training for the practical while concurrently studying for the written test. Just as he was about to kneel down and get it, glimmer. A sudden glow of vermilion had appeared. He was about to brush it off, thinking that it would fade away any time soon. But it didn't. Several hours had passed and it was almost midnight. Midori let out the tire down and flipped the textbook close, getting ready to sleep. As he was about to go to bed, his gaze drafted to the red string, which bothered him that it hadn't gone out of his sight yet. Midoriya bit his lower lap. Should he do something? Should he be worried? Was he going to meet his soulmate now? In the middle of the night? Should I follow it? He questioned to no one in particular. He had read up and heard that normally you'd meet your soulmate when the red string wasn't going away. Or it meant that you were close to your soulmate. There were several other possibilities. He sat down in his bed thinking. Not soon after, he drifted off into a string of his infamous muttering. After coming to a conclusion, he decided to follow it. He gently pushed the doorknob down as the door creaked open. He took soft and gentle steps down the hallway and quietly put on his slippers. As soon as he had done so, he slightly walked out of the apartment and followed the red string. He passed through several sidewalks and open areas. It had been almost a quarter of an hour with him just walking. Following the red string, he began struggling to keep up. His eyes flickered open and closed as he slightly stumbled. Soon after, once he was just about to give up and turn back around, he looked farther ahead to see the red string come into a halt. He rapidly blinked, hoping that he wasn't hallucinating. What is that? He softly questioned before running faster towards the end of the red line. When he reached it, he saw a yellow post-it note hanging close to the end of the string. It dangled, but it was there. The green-haired male hesitantly picked it off from the string and read the writing on it. Dear soulmate, we obviously never met, but I think you're a good person. 
I wish I could miss you. The restaurant tied on my pinky glows brightly that I wish I could have gone and followed it just like you did. <laughs> the post-it note ended there. Midori quirked a brow in confusion. The note couldn't have ended like that. He looked back down and saw the string. It was cut. His brows were far out. What's happening? It didn't seem normal. He looked farther ahead and saw another post-it note. Lying on the cement path, he walked forward and picked it up. Anyways, if you were hoping to meet me, sad to say, you never will. I wish I could talk to you, meet you, and be able to fall in love with you. But my time in this world had been cut short. The note confused him even more. His heart was pounding against his chest rapidly. He ran ahead and picked up the next one. You may be confused. Honestly, I think this is for the good. You wouldn't want the significant other who merely mops around in the hospital every day. Uh, <laughs> I don't even have a crack. You must be disappointed. The process repeated. He ran ahead and picked up the next note. I asked my doctor for my final wish, to be placing these notes on the string. It felt wrong to just leave you without knowing. You'd probably be mocked and hurt if you suddenly saw your string disappear. No, 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 no. It couldn't be. He was practically begging, but the prediction in his mind was incorrect. He hurriedly ran forward to the next note on the ground, in front of the large white buildings. If you've pieced it all together, you must already know. Um, well, passed away. I wish I could have talked to you more, but the worst seems to work in the strangest of ways. I... I hope you'll be able to still stay happy, soulmate. Your soulmate, Y and Ella. His hands trembled. The sight of the words written with black ink on the post-it note made him tremble. His heart ached as his stomach churned. He looked back at the string. Tears pouring down from his puffy eyes and down his slightly pink tinted freckled cheeks. The scarlet red began to fade away. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Bye!